welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 4.17 18 and 19 of chapter 4 and today we are going to solve questions which are relevant with each other so uh, in solving question 4.17 let me first solve it and see the statement of it so let x be a random variable with the following probability distribution which has been given in the form of this table so we have to find the mu g of x where g of x is 2x plus 1 uh, so let us first see that what is this g of x okay so let me solve it first and in solving it we have to see that what is g of x so in these type of questions this is 2x plus 1 which has the domain of capital x which is basically the random variable and that random variable is basically small x here okay so in these questions what you have to do you have to transform this x into another variable which is g of x okay which is dependent upon this x okay so similarly here this x has to be transformed into what this has to be transformed into 2x plus 1 whole square okay so uh, as we will transform this one so previously we have seen that the expected value of a random variable is basically the weighted sum of what the weighted sum of the value of the random variable multiplied it with the probability of that variable okay so that is what we have and we will have to add them together this is what we had now as we will see that this x will be transformed into g of x so therefore this expected value or it will become mu g of x okay where this x will be replaced with this g of x and it will be f of x okay and this will be the weighted sum of this okay so therefore here we have to apply this formula but before applying this formula we, to, we have to use this transformation that what is basically x and what is the corresponding values of the g of x so let me first found out all these values for all the values of x which are minus 3 minus uh, minus 3 6 and 9 okay so here uh, for the value of x equal to minus 3 we will have g of minus 3 okay and the formula for g of x we have seen that it was 2x plus 1 so the value of x here will be uh, what this is minus 3 plus 1 and whole square so it will be uh, minus 6 plus 1 is 5 so 5 square is 25 okay similarly for the other value of x which is 6 so x equal to 6 and it will be g of 6 okay so putting these values 2 6 plus 1 whole square so it will be 6 uh, 2 multiplied by 6 is 12 12 plus 1 is what that is uh, 13 13 square is 169 okay and the last value here is 9 so x equal to 9 and this would be g of 9 equal to what it will be 2 multiplied by 9 plus 1 whole square so it would be uh, 9 to 18 18 plus 1 is 19 and 19 square is 361 okay so these are all the values of the g of x which has been obtained from the values of uh, x which are here here and here okay so we have obtained another domain here which is the g of x and let me write these values here so writing these values here we will get what okay here we will have uh, this let me write this with the green color here we will have x here the same f of x and here g of x okay so the value of x are minus 3 6 9 okay and the corresponding values of f of x are 1 by 6 as given in the question 1 by 6 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 and the values of g of x are for minus it is 25 for 6 it is 169 and for 9 this is 361 okay so these are all the values which we have obtained okay so now in order to find uh, the expected value of g of x what we have to do we have to use this formula and in using this formula we can see that we have to multiply the, this value with this one this value here 
add this value with this one and we have to add them together as given here so let me do it here so mu g of x will be what it will be 1 by 6 multiplied by 25 okay similarly 1 by 2 multiplied by 169 and 1 by 3 multiplied by 361 and then we have to add them together okay then adding them together what will we get we will get the answer equal to 209 and that is what that is the solution of question 4.17 which we have seen here okay so uh, what is basically the essence of these type of questions here we can see that the original values of the random variable has been transformed into another domain or another variable which is basically g of x and that is the dependent of the x okay so that is what we have now let us proceed to question 4.18 and uh, uh, here let me remove it first so the statement of it is find the expected value of the random variable g of x equal to x square where x has the probability distribution of exercise 4.2 okay so here we have to move to exercise 4.2 and therefore uh, what we will have to see we have to transform the value of x into x square so therefore we will have here x will be transformed into x square because here different values of g of x will be the transformed version of x okay so let us move to question 4.2 uh, which we have previously solved so this is question 4.2 and i will also put a link of it over here uh, we can see here that this was basically the uh, probability distribution of the variable with other values with some values of x which are from 0 to 3 and uh, we have found out the distribution of it here let me move let us transform this x into x square okay and transforming it it will become g of x okay so here uh, let me use this and let me take g of x here okay so this will be squared and here the squared value will be zero as well okay this one will be squared and it will be one this two will become four and this three will become nine so after finding it out what we will have to do we have to do the same we have to multiply it with this one it with this one this with this one and this here because of the formula here we had so let us multiply these values 0 multiplied by 27 by 64 okay then 21 multiplied by 27 by 64 okay then 4 multiplied by 9 by 64 4 multiplied by 9 by 64 and 9 multiplied by 1 by 64 then we have to add them together okay so uh, here we will get 0 plus this will be 27 by 64 36 by 64 and here it will be 9 by 64 okay so solving it what will we get here we will have 72 by 64 which will ultimately give me 9 by 8 and that is what that is the solution of it which in which we have found out this value okay which is basically the solution of question 4.18